Achievers, it's been a day. Welcome back to a emergency Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of January 18th. If you're looking at your screen, we have a special guest, but before we get to him, I have our regular host, co-host, Alex. Elijah. How are Yo, you? My, my, my seat is on fire, man. Your seat is on fire. Okay. All right. Yeah. I, yeah. I hope like, that's I like good. A- no, yeah, it's, I'm ready to talk about what we're ready to talk okay, about. Okay, okay, all right, about. so it is good. All right, cool, cool, cool. And yes, now we have good. with us today writer of VGU and host of the Players Club podcast, the one, the only, Emmett Watkins Jr. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I, I would also say my seat is on fire, but I sat on a heated seat for the first time in my life last night, and it felt weird. Okay. So I'm just first off. It, all right, it is on. fuck it the is. podcast. Fuck it all. <laughs> no heated it, seat. It, it, We're talking oh, about God. that now. Weird. Yeah, it's very strange. It, it was in my friend's car. He had just bought a car, and it was cold out. So he was like, oh, "I'm gonna turn on a heated." Let me seat. guess. You feel Yo. like you're pissing yourself. You see, I think that's the. <laughs> I think that's what my body was feeling. Dude, but that happened to me too. But it wasn't, it, I didn't think I feel like I'm peeing myself. Well, I was I like, what the hell like, is that my, feeling? My butthole just felt weird. Uh, <laughs> that's really all it was. I was like, my, the, I've never had my butthole be huh? this temperature. Mm. <laughs> that's what it was. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You don't have to lie with us, Edmund. Yeah. You don't have to lie with us. <laughs> yeah, I was, t- <laughs> was kind of terrified. Then. I thought I was dying the first time it happened. I was like, what is happening right now? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. just pissed yourself a little. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it happens. Am I dying? Yeah, am I dying? <laughs> This heated seat is murdering me. <laughs> Achievers, you read the thumbnail. It's been about a day of mm. you knowing this nose. And if you don't know, we are coming to you for an emergency purpose. And that reason is, of course, Microsoft purchasing Activision Blizzard. Mm. Microsoft purchasing Activision Blizzard. Microsoft, in an all-cash deal, is purchasing Activision Blizzard for six D eight point seven billion dollars. We are in Scrooge McDuck territory, everybody. Six Why eight point seven? point seven billion dollars. They didn't have an extra point three mil bill. Like, did they try to like <laughs> accumulate how much everything is worth, and then they just add it up and then gave a median or something? Uh, okay, for, first off, really, let's sit here for a second. Did they like say 70 and they're like, all right, we're talking no. crazy numbers. We'll do 68 and no less, good sir. That's more reasonable, right? True. You had me uh, at 68.7, but 69. Get out of here. What now, are we, prudes? We own Candy Crush. We can't do that. We can't do that. Come on. We're strapped for cash. Now, this is an all cash deal. So this is a full on, here's the money. This is technically, for legal purposes, still in the air. This is a Xbox and acquisition, or sorry, uh, Activision Blizzard stating that they are in the works of being <clears throat> purchased. Although very rarely do these things fall through, so it is almost certain. But we do have about a year or two of this actual legal process dealing out. Of course, it goes. To various legal entities to get evaluated to make sure there's not a monopoly forming. We can get into that later. This goes through the Securities and uh, Exchange Commission. There's a bunch of things that need to happen for this to fully go through, but generally these things don't happen without them pretty solidly knowing that this is going to happen. Now, we can go <clears throat> million different ways with this conversation, gentlemen. We can go morality, we can go physical, we can go what this means for several franchises. I want this to be an open discussion Mm. of this entire situation. Where we want to start is completely up to you two, but I want Mm. to begin with the man that's been blowing up Twitter, (laughs) that's been slamming that keyboard as about as fast as I can think (laughs) <laughs> One Emmett Watkins Jr. Please oh, lead us in this discussion. Where do you want to hit first? I've been refreshing that Twitter page all day, just reading all the takes, reading all the 
I guess you could say ideas people have with these things. I want yeah. to know, Emmett Watkins Jr., what do you think about this today? Well, I'll I'll start at the most logical place. I'll start at the beginning. Um literally I woke up and I was it was one of those wake ups where I wasn't late for work, but mm. I was just far enough behind the time that I should have left where I'm We've like, I'm going to be late mm. for work. So I wake up, I open my phone and say, hey, it's going to be a minute. But, you know, my, my manager's cool with it. Yeah. And then I open up Twitter out of instinct. The first thing I see is some verified account I've never heard of, probably in the stock market, is saying, nice. hey, yo, uh, or Microsoft's going to buy Activision. And so I see that. And literally, here's how fast it all happened. I see that, and I'm like, that sounds like bullshit. Mm. That mm. sounds like it's not going to happen. <laughs> so in response to that, I say, let me find that clip of the hit rapper Future from the song Mask Off, where Future he says, rapper. ain't no fucking way in that song. <laughs> let me find that clip. So I search on YouTube, find the clip, download the clip, put it into a tweet, tweet that out. And in the time it takes me to do all that, it's been officially in the cannons <laughs> fucking fire. Yeah. So like, oh, my God. So by the time that happened, that's when it all hit me. And that's when I literally screamed like that's that's what woke me up. I didn't need anything or I don't even drink coffee. That woke me up. So like, yeah. I was like, oh, <laughs> my God. And it was a oh, my God. It wasn't like Bethesda where when that happened with Bethesda, it was kind of a like, oh, this is so exciting as far as the IP hmm. point of view. That's the first thing that hit me with Bethesda. When this hit me, this was like, well, what the fuck now? <laughs> so I think this almost perfectly encapsulates <clears throat> how little we were thinking with the Bethesda deal. Mm -hmm. I think I, I was like, oh, wow, this is crazy. Like, this might be one of the biggest purchases ever. Anyways, I wonder what the next one they're going to buy. Maybe it's going to be, oh. I don't know, maybe like WB Montreal from them. Maybe at and is trying to sell some yeah, studios. Yeah, we kept thinking because they, like, like oh, it's, it's, <laughs> they were like, oh, they have uh, a big thing, a big acquisition next. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. We were thinking small potatoes, clearly. Yeah. They yeah, wanted to. When I heard the rumors, they were opening the checkbook i was like okay i mean they, they'll probably like buy they might buy sega i could see that they might yeah. buy i i gave out ubisoft i was like would they do ubisoft I was and like, that's I not know. the crazy <laughs> i said on that's this what, podcast that's what, yeah, yeah. That's what he said. Two and weeks i was like ago, i don't know man i was I like said, i don't think dude, so that's really complicated publicly traded company that's a lot of hoops you gotta jump through <laughs> what a fucking egg on my face now <laughs> Oh, this is Lord. ten times more complicated. Look, you might as well buy Ubisoft. Multiple ways, multiple ways. This is more complicated. Multiple. Anyways, back to you, Emmett. But yeah, that that's where I started. Where uh, you know, that's how I found out about the news. That's how it hit me. And yeah, what I'm left thinking is less because I there is some excitement, and eventually we'll get to that. The IPs that they're inheriting with this purchase is super right. exciting. You know, stuff that could come to Game Pass, stuff that could possibly be re revitalized by other companies that work right. at Microsoft already. That's all exciting, but even almost an equal footing with the excitement over new IPs and oh, merging. No, where are you going with this one? I am like the the oligarchy concerns yeah. I'm having. Yeah, yeah. The so consolidation wanna, concerns. I want to start with yeah. there because I want I mm -hmm. want to because because this is a fun podcast, right? Yes. We're going to talk. We're going to have fun. I want to start this off with something very quickly because I'm going to be all curmudgeon and I'm going to sound like an old fucking man. Like, ah, I don't hey, like baby. this capitalism too much. But that's not what no man would say. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Maybe a hippie or something. There we go. <laughs> but I want to I want to preface all this so then we can get into the fun stuff. If I had my way, this wouldn't happen. I want to make that clear. I don't want this mm -hmm. to happen. This is how Fair. this is how monopolies start. It's very scary. I do not want a Disney in the gaming sphere. Mm -hmm. I was already making talking a literal shit about Tencent. I was uh, that that was already yeah. a company that yeah, yeah. I vehemently that. disagree with mm -hmm. in multiple ways. We're not we don't have to get into that right now, but that was already a company I was afraid of. And now for to wake up to news that Microsoft is not only buying Activision, but <clears throat> flagrantly showing that they can burn money in front of everybody. Yeah. They are oh, almost, yeah. they, they, they have paying 50% more than what they have to <clears throat> for all these market shares. I think it's valued at 95 a share. 
They closed mm-hmm. at, I believe, $60 today. Something like that. Uh, some, something to that effect. <clears throat> They're paying about 50% more than what they need to. They are flagrantly showing that they have cash to spend, and this is nothing. They're now showing to you, oh, you saw the Bethesda thing. <laughs> Just wait. That's Bro. nothing. We I made that back in a quarter. <laughs> we made that money back in a quarter. Mm. In four months, they made that money back. This is, this is the kind of big money moves we're talking about, and that's frankly terrifying to me. Yeah. That this can just, this can just happen. <clears throat> Yeah. And we have laws in the U.S. that stops monopolies and things. We can argue how well they work with things like Disney happening and straight up just buying a giant place like yeah, Fox. Yeah, they bought Fox. They yeah. bought Fox. That was one <clears throat> of yep. the big three. That's something that wasn't <clears throat> supposed to happen, and people were like, "It's yeah, it's fine." Uh, so I, I don't, I don't. Everyone's talking about antitrust. I don't believe for a second that the government is stopping this. Period. That it no, it's not happening. So this well, is going through. Yeah. I do not believe for a second that the government's mm-hmm. like, well, we have a problem with this one. <laughs> like, no, no, it's not happening. I it's mean, that- even this has this holds a little bit less water than the Fox acquisition because there are so many like ins that legally they can argue for. Because yes. I was listening to Giant Bomb talk about this and Jeff mm. Grubb go on about it. Mm. Like their lawyers, I'm sure Microsoft, if this did go to court, Microsoft could justify a whole bunch of different they're ways. They're cracking their knuckles like, oh, yeah. Yeah, because you think about like a judge looking at this case, they're not in the gaming industry. They don't understand how big this is to people like us. Yeah. This would be in the grand scheme of all companies in the country. And yeah. in that scale, it doesn't seem so big. Yeah, yeah. And also, yeah, like you said, like they could just point out, well, I mean, they, they're still Ubisoft and PlayStation owns yeah. all these studios. Yeah, they can. There's so many different ways. you can. So it's, uh, it's almost not worth talking about. I know other people do think antitrust will come to effect. I just have zero faith in that system whatsoever. Um, Fair. C- p- coming off of, of that sentiment, th- this is something I, I don't want. I didn't really want the Bethesda deal to happen but if it you know it's one of those things where it's like hey, it's it's happening so it's not it's not a huge deal this is this is something that i'm like this is a little scary now this is a huge purchase of a giant corporation if two days ago i told the top gaming analysts that this would happen they would all say i'm crazy all of them mm-hmm. there might be one guy that's like on meth like no nah, it happened but like <laughs> aside from as that an analyst dude, why am i doing meth <laughs> I'm a meth analyst on the side. <laughs> but, <laughs> wow. but really, though, I do think most gaming analysts, if I went to talk to them, almost all of them would go, you're kind of crazy. How did you get in my office? Would be their next question. <laughs> but that, that's, I think, a more important thing to bring up. How big this is, how scary this is, and what press this now shows to Sony that shows them like, hey, uh, we just dropped a lot of money catch up I, I mean what else kind of, how else are you kind of supposed to read this they they've not bought two major publishing arms two of them i bet you they'll make this money back in a year they probably, oh yeah they probably will yeah. yeah yeah i mean this is microsoft this is this is one of the biggest companies period ever in exi- yeah. human existence so th- this is it's it's hard to even yeah. talk they money. Like, oh, a year setback we'll be all right because it sounds like not it, like when they talk about Microsoft, but it just sounds like nonsense. Just, mm-hmm. Yeah, there's trillion dollars. It's like Apple. It's like, yeah, we have the X amount of money and it's like it sounds all made up. But I'm, yeah. ramb- I'm rambling on this uh, specific <laughs> point, but I just wanted to bring up be- before we get into the fun. What games are coming back? Uh, this is terrifying. Monopolies are scary. And also Microsoft we're huge Xbox fans here, me and Alex. I love Xbox. Mm-hmm. I have Game Pass, all that stuff. Same here. Microsoft ain't great. I got my Halo studios. Xbox over there. Yeah, hell yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, I got the Halo uh, Master Chief uh, League controller. Woo! Thing's beautiful. Go. But <laughs> I have Master Chief. Oh, okay. wow. He all just right. has well, them. He just has them. All right. I'm going to unplug my cotton. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, he just has them. He's better than us. That's all I got. All that being said. <laughs> scary i don't like it i wish it wasn't happening i don't want this stuff happen i would prefer them to spend 
something new would be nice. So that would be cool, right? Just a new studio. They made it like one in like the past year. They're just buying everything. That's scary. Well, even even more than this, I would prefer like buy a bunch of small things, buy some more double finds, buy yeah. some more ninja blades. Like there's plenty of them out there. Mm. And I'm sure that would definitely take off a lot of their stresses of worrying about the checkbooks <laughs> all the time. But in the same breath, I mean, we might get into it later, but I do have a little bit of context on how this happened. Just once again, listening to GameSpot okay. uh, or not GameSpot, Giant Bomb, mm. um, because apparently this thing happened pretty quickly uh, really? because all the controversies, all the controversies with Activision Blizzard, you know, all the workplace harassment, okay. all that stuff, people coming for Bobby Kotick's head. Um, it seems like Bobby Kotick was looking for a way out already, and it was either what a it better was way. Either well, yeah, this is a pretty good way. Yeah, but he's out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we will get to that part, too. But yeah, it was people were wondering, all right, so are they going to because people were already striking people are already leaving. Yep. You know, you got the Call of Duty situation right now where all those uh, people at Raven Software Raven, left. And yeah. yeah, all those bugs are happening. The in game Call is of Duty. broken. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> and I so they got on there and I can't even play it, man. Exactly. So they were like, all right, so what are we going to do about it? And so instead of just letting all this stuff go on and stick sticking with management until everything beneath management falls over, they said, hey, let's just sell it before the stock price bottoms out. And I guess Microsoft was already looking to buy, of course. And it seems like October, November is when a lot of this stuff started getting put into motion. And throughout the holidays, you know, everyone at Xbox is working on this deal. And now here we are and can't believe it. I can't believe it. It seems like a a. a purchase of opportunity oh, more yeah. than them because i don't think xbox is ever eyeing activision i think it's once all this shit started happening mm -hmm. and they were looking to get rid of things then boom here we you are know what i think I, i'm wondering who went to who first microsoft went to them first Did, guarantee okay. that yeah they i mean companies do this all the time that. i mean th there's always hypotheticals in the background like, hey, i see you're in a pickle we they, they go that. they go to companies all the time and go hey um how much? Like they just, you know, just says an estimate. They have whole teams yeah. that specialize in acquisitions and things like that. Yeah. Especially with their corporate side and, and how they bookkeep and things. So I, I'm positive Microsoft came to them first. They might have knocked on the door a little harder when the sexual accusations started coming up. Like, hey, mm -hmm. remember oh, we sure. were trying to buy? Uh, just as a reminder. <laughs> Anyways, quickly bring this up. Uh, me and Alex have been pretty vocal about the terrible shit happening at. Activision Blizzard, mm -hmm. the uh, Bobby Kotick situation where he threatened to kill somebody. <laughs> it's fucking yeah. crazy shit, too. Um, lots of crazy shit over there. Now, to quickly bring up the sense of morality, I guess you could bring up. What, uh, what a <clears throat> conniption, I guess you could say. I mean, all these board of directors seemingly... I mean, we don't know who's involved with what we know Bobby Kotick did, or at least knew several things that happened and did nothing mm -hmm. about it. Now this dude is about to be a billionaire in about a year, and he's about to leave and retire. Uh, yeah. That sucks. Uh, Phil Spencer just coming in like, hey, uh, it's going it's gonna, it's, it's gonna to be hard to take the uh, high road stuff seriously now from Xbox, especially since they're about to make a company riddled with sexual harassment claims. Uh, all of them richer. All of them involved. Everyone involved richer. All of them are now exponentially yeah. more richer now because they're all being purchased. So that's a strange offset to this deal that not only are, are we... Because <clears throat> I saw a lot of people tweeting about this. Like, Not only does Xbox get to come... I, I, and they said fix this situation. I, I that's a whole other conversation we can have too. But they yeah. said you know now Xbox can come and fix this situation. And I feel like a lot of people are forgetting. Like, well, let's not forget though. Fuckers who did all this are now hella rich, all of them. <clears throat> so that's a little fucked up. And I, I didn't see a lot of people yeah. talking about that. I mean, I'll, I'll say right now, uh, capitalism, especially in America, is not conducive to justice Whoa. <laughs> that is a Whoa. very common thing so while yes i think I, I think at the end of all this i think once the deal closes i'm sure bobby kodak will be out and i'm sure xbox with xbox from the outside looking in they seem to be for the most part at least practicing what they preach it seems like their workplace culture is pretty good if not great 
Um, so I'm sure that they're going to be going in there and taking all these people underneath Bobby Kotick that were instigating this stuff. And not coming over and get out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sure they're going to go through and you know start start pulling those weeds out the garden. Oh, but yeah. um, I just don't see. Like, yes, I don't like that Bobby Kotick is probably going to get to leave rather than getting kicked out. I don't mm-hmm. like that he's probably getting a $100 million severance package or whatever. Oh, he's getting a fucking um, fat-ass paycheck. He owns yeah. a huge portion of Activision Blizzard, actually. So if this deal was actually parts of his shares, too? Oh, yeah, that's oh. that's cash for him, too. What the fu- <sighs> I mean, that is... That's several generations bu- of wealth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're talking about a bonkers <laughs> amount of money for a single person and a half. So. Mm-hmm. Aside so, yeah. from that, yeah, that is the that is a moral issue I had with all this. This is a whole day of me processing this, and I have oh, yeah. so many thoughts to just vomit out of my mouth, so I'm sorry if I'm going a thousand miles an hour, guys, <laughs> but that is another thing okay. I wanted to bring up before we get into the happy stuff. That is fucked up. But yeah. you brought up a great point, Emmett. Uh, doesn't always mean justice. Capitalism yeah. does not equal justice, and that's true. That's I mean, true. Things will get better. Shit. I'll say that things will probably get better, but that doesn't necessarily mean the evil's defeated. The That's evil true. just gets to go retire somewhere now. <laughs> In fucking Boca. I don't know where yeah. old white men retire. I don't know. Anyways. Milwaukee. <laughs> Milwaukee. 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 You said white men. I thought Milwaukee. That's it one plus one. This milk in it. This milk it in to it. Milwaukee. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> actually, Florida is the correct answer to that. Actually, that is true. That is true. Because everything is cold. I guess I don't know. Why do they all go there? It's strange. Because it's but. warm and there's attractive young ladies to see when your wife is dead. <laughs> I was Dark gonna say. Thoughts. I was gonna say alligators, but <laughs> <laughs> the Everglades. Yeah. Oh <laughs> well, yeah. Anyways, we can come <laughs> back to this, of course, but to slightly pivot and yes. talk about the implications for a year to two years to come to most of the people that clicked onto this video that are curious about it call of duty crash bandicoot i mean we're talking major ips major all of them Uh, oh uh, look behind do you have a list of all of these uh, oh well yeah you can look at sponge thank you so much for asking yeah, no I will problem. go to video games. I found this earlier, actually. I, I did not bring yeah. it up. but I also have a Chronicles. list up, if not. Oh, but, please, yeah, please, please. Let's see them up. Yeah. Oh, I can read mine real quick if you want. Oh, yes, yes. That's actually perfect okay. if you have one ready. Thank you. All right. So here's, as far as I understand, here's every IP that Microsoft is inheriting with this deal. Um, even the obscure ones to the big ones. So we got Blur, if you remember that racer. Uh, oh, wow. Yep. This is alphabetical order, so it's going to be some weird ones here. Uh, Blur, uh, Caesar, which I'm not familiar with, uh, Call of Duty, Candy Crush, uh, Crash Bandicoot, uh, Diablo, DJ Hero, Empire Earth, Gabriel Knight, Geometry Wars, Guitar Hero, Gun, Hearthstone, Heroes of the Storm, Hexen. Yeah, shout out to Gun. Fuck yeah, Gun. Uh, uh, yeah, Hexen. Interstate 76, King's Quest, Laura Bow Mysteries, The Lost Vikings, Overwatch, uh, oh, Phasmagoria, uh, or Phasmagoria, uh, Pitfall, Police Quest, Prototype, uh, shout out Prototype, Hardcore, uh, yeah, Quest for Glory, Singularity, Skylanders, Soldier of Fortune, shout out to that, uh, Base Quest, Spiral the Dragon, Starcraft, Tenchu shout out. Uh Time Shift shout out. Do they still own that? I thought they lost Tenchu. Tenchu. We might want to get a check up on that, but I'm pretty sure they still own it. Okay. It's been a long time since Tenchu's been out, and it, I don't think uh, a different yeah, publisher yeah, put true. one out. Um, but yeah, Tenchu, Time Shift, uh Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, True Crime, and World of Warcraft and Zork, which is Zork. it's a lot when you think about it. Like there's a lot of big names in there, but even the lower key stuff, it's like, oh man. The things that you mm-hmm. can do with some of these IP now that they're like off the re- Call of Duty train. A remaster of fucking Time Shift or some shit? I just bought Time Shift. Like, <laughs> did you no, really? you didn't. Yes. No, you did not. Yes, I did. did I bought a th- physical time. I bought two copies of Time Shift because the first time I bought it, it fucking... didn't read in my Series X. But then the second time I did, and I've been playing it, and it's oh, God. it's a video that game. Fucking cover the it's a video the game. mask, and it's broken. Yeah. I think you're, checking it. you're thinking of Haze, I think. Oh. Is that Hayes? Nope. Yeah, that's Hayes. Actually, yeah, Hayes yeah, is the Hayes one we're zoomed in. Time shift is further further back. And, t- and time shift has the full helmet. I don't think it's broken though. Oh, yeah, time shift is not broken. Yeah, this it's is like inc- the world. Oh. This is incredibly unimportant. 
Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. I had them both mixed up. Um, so this is from the Wikipedia. Could be all wrong, but Activision purchased the rights to this game, Tenchu, uh, from Sony Music Entertainment, who originally right. published the game in Japan. However, Activision sold the rights to From Software in 2004. From Software's right agreements does not include games previously published by Activision. So I guess they mm-hmm. technically. So they can't make a new Tenchu, but they could remaster them. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So they do technically Hmm. still own the game then. They just don't own the IP to make new ones. Makes sense. Jesus, Emmett. That was, I mean, that was (laughs) a list. I mean, they, they, I mean, God. And that, that's a couple ones that stand out. Candy Crush, huge mobile game. That's not a lot of people in our sphere really care about, I guess. But I mean, that is, that's not to be understated. That's an incredible incredibly huge game that's been going on for like 10 years now or something like that some nonsense like that um mm-hmm. big games like i mean we have we could like they own wow like that i think that's yeah a, i think that's a crazy sentence they own ward of Ro- warcraft like yeah what that's insane the game is about. still huge yeah there's yeah. still millions of people that subscribe to that game still mm-hmm. now which well, is that's not even just wow it's everything that goes under that because i assume it's like uh, Hearthstone, Heroes of the yep. Storm, yep. things yep. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep. All that. Yep, Hearthstone, which I actually stopped playing because of all the stuff happening to him. So it's now it's like, I guess I can play it again now. Like, I so, yeah, I guess like, are you? <laughs> you can, can start play playing it, it when the deal closes in June. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Start playing I'll it wait when two it comes years and then I'll play Hearthstone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when yeah. it's on Xbox. Yeah, there you yeah, go. It's on, it's on Game Pass. <laughs> it's on Game Pass now. Hearthstone. Um, yes. Yeah, so. That IP list. I mean, this is this is a game changer. And mm. I remember a tweet from I forget who has said it, but it was basically a tweet stating when the Bethesda deal happened. I was like, wow, they really stopped the Xbox has no games argument as soon as they bought Bethesda. Now it's like, I mean, Jesus, they have. Yeah. Now well. they. I didn't think it could happen. They bought Legacy. They've bought Legacy titles now, so they have yeah. nostalgia. Which is something Xbox really never had, other than Halo One, and that's really it. So they've now purchased nostalgia, kind of, and they have a. I mean, history with these games now because they could. I mean, they own like Spyro and Crash Bandicoot, which are gonna be nostalgic for people. They they're gonna have WoW, which of course is hitting multiple people in their nostalgia hearts. The thing is, what what are they gonna do with these IPs? Are they gonna just it's just they just own them, or are they so, gonna progress? Them? So this that's actually interesting to bring up. Uh, and a sidebar to this announcement, they did announce a complete reconstruction of how they are managing things over at Xbox. Uh, there's like a little chart that's like, oh, this person does this. It's essentially to yeah. boil it down, they have. They're trying to make it a much more seamless ways because now they're gonna have like thirty studios or something like that. Like, so, like mm-hmm. I mean, way too many, <laughs> way too many. So, my what I my assumption is Phil at the top, and they have a bunch of people basically helicoptering other studios and groups, and, and they report like, back to Phil. Yeah, and Phil probably yeah. is head honcho of everything. So, <laughs> it's there's I mean, this is. This is wild, I, and what do you what do you guys think of it? What 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 is from an IP's perspective? What are where are we at? Because we can jump. I mean, we can jump right into the Call of Duty talk. We can jump right into if we think anything's going to change at Activision. Speaking specifically to studios, not of course hmm. the culture. Yeah, well, I think the culture has to inevitably change if Xbox. Yes, it was. For Bethesda, they could pretty much swallow them up and everything be the same at Bethesda. Yeah. Activision's too big to leave stagnant. Yeah. And also, the culture's already kind of broken, so they need to do some changing. So changes will come. But I think IP-wise, this thing, like you talk about Legacy and how they bought Legacy, like Activision's older than a lot of companies. Yes. <laughs> like, they they have They're pitfall. making Atari <laughs> games. They're making yeah. Atari games. Now, exactly. Remember, you know, a lot, not a yeah. lot of people know that. They made Pitfall, like you just said. Mm-hmm. That is an old-ass Atari game where you were a dude jumping over alligators. Or maybe crocodiles. Exactly. I don't know where you were supposed to be. There's only trees in the background. How am I supposed to know? Could have been Florida. <laughs> Could have been one of those retirees. Those were abstractions of trees. 
at that point it in was the pretty life generous cycle. to call them trees I'll admit. yeah <laughs> certainly but yeah i i do i do think it's wild that this company that's only well microsoft's been around forever but this gaming division that has only been around since what 2001 2002 right um whenever that first xbox came out now they have these games from 20 years before they existed yep so uh i'm very excited to see what they do with it the first thing that came to mind for me well first thing more like the fifth or sixth thing that came to mind for me <laughs> is like all these ips that they're doing nothing with because yeah. i'm pretty sure um once again someone feel free to correct me if you know different but i'm pretty sure they bought sierra activision bought sierra a while back so yeah. acquiring them comes with all those old sierra titles so i really do think microsoft is the type of company who would care about all that old stuff and hey let's let's re-release i don't know siberia one and two because i got those games well, they're really big on backwards stuff. compatibility and just nostalgic games so mm -hmm. like they're probably bring a lot of that stuff in, back in the press release just added. they specifically said they will be which is a weird thing that i guess i guess they have to mention things like this but they said yeah. specifically they're going to try and bring as many as possible new and uh, and old to game mm -hmm. pass yeah that like, means is... a lot so we don't know what that means that's 20 titles or 100 so like who knows See, my question is because they said the same. I don't know if they said the exact same thing for Bethesda, but we had that exact same implication. And I'm still waiting for them to put wet on Game Pass <laughs> or Rogue Warrior. Like, well, that's probably never game. happened. Wet. That's yeah. such a good game. I it was really it. cool. It I was really cool. I'm halfway through it on PS3. <laughs> okay, so we so know like, there's a we know there's a bottom line. So yeah. Like, we're not going that far back. <laughs> so but we'll like, get some of them. I'll, I'll say they might not put here's here's what i think i don't think they're gonna reboot time shift i don't think they're gonna do any of that i would love a rebooted time shift bring, i would love a singularity bring back all the guitar heroes dude oh dude, what, if those all hit game pass what could you even do with that i know right? oh my god what do you do what do you, what do, you do i guess i'm buying a fucking I mean, guitar from a pawn shop <laughs> exactly everyone suddenly takes out their oh don't tell me this mo oh, god damn oh, it he's <laughs> got it ready he's got it oh, ready ladies and gentlemen he he's knew ready it. to rock on at a second's notice you look you it's put a thing called clone hero a rock he's ready clone hero yeah on the pc there's a game called clone oh. hero and that's what i'd be playing man all right i respect that i respect that i don't but yeah there's there's only so many games they're gonna bring back but i could easily see i think prototype has some juice to where they'll yeah. want to put that in the game pass yeah i think I think a lot of these games have juice. Like I can easily see Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy. Easy, easy, easiest, pass. easiest cool. decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as well. Uh, and dude, the thing that I keep thinking, because I've seen so people know me. If you follow me on Twitter, or whatever, I love video essays. I'm obsessed with them. You do, you do. You made a whole list of them over on what was that website yeah. called again? VGU.tv. Oh, that's right, VGU.tv. Thank you. Hit it up, everybody. Um, but yeah, I wrote a whole article about my favorite video essays of last year. Uh, it got a lot of traction, so thanks everybody who watched that. Yeah, well, I, I watched it. I think I reached it. I don't remember. But I, I, I got. I, <laughs> this is a complete sidebar. I got like halfway yeah. through. My favorite was the Nostalgia Critic one, where this, that guy just shit on this guy. I'm a huge fan of Nostalgia Critic. This dude just shit on this guy for like 10 <laughs> minutes straight. I was like, Jesus. <laughs> it was an intelligent shitting on, though. I <laughs> guess so, yeah. His, his shitting on was put well i guess yeah it's like very God, eloquent this, is, this dude is <laughs> savage as fuck <laughs> like, hey man, anyways, hey anyways it was a good video but really, anyway yeah, really i'm one of these people who like video essays uh, there's a point to this i promise <laughs> i have been watching a lot of like very long just look at the entire mm -hmm. call of duty series like they start at one and they play the campaigns of one two three four mm. uh world at war and then yeah. just keep going on and on and on till we yeah. get to modern day I, I'm not saying I want to do one of those because the ones I've seen have been like three hours long. I don't know if I got a stamina, but I've always wanted to play the gaps in that franchise because I've yep. literally played every Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4. Yep. I want to go back to one. They did release one on 360, so I mm. could go back to that. Two was a 360 launch title. Two, yep. Three was three. a big one on 360. Like, yep. I can fill in those gaps pretty easily, and it'll all be on Game Pass in, in all likelihood. So... When we talk about that type of stuff, that's what has me excited. But then I think, oh, some of these, plat some of these, like, uh, what is it? Some of these IP, you could give turn 10 blur. I think they'd Whoa. be oh, happy oh, to work on a, oh. on a new blur. Forza blur? Yeah, dude, that, Forza that would blur. be crazy. That could be really cool. So you have stuff like that. And then what, what's the other one that I was thinking of? Uh, oh, my God. Spiral the Dragon from Rare? That could be cool. 
like Whoa. like you, you're not thinking about it Holy instantly shit. but like rare you and spiral to dragon that makes a lot of sense yeah, it uh, does. And, wow and i don't think I microsoft think would miss it. yeah a, a lot of people are not necessarily combining because people aren't thinking yeah, all these thinking ips the ip to a different studio i guess which mm -hmm. I, I wasn't either. I didn't. I mean, I should really sit down. Maybe, and maybe this would be a fun podcast. You sit down and really like look at the sheet of all the studios mm -hmm. and be like, all right, you got these IPs, and you're like almost connecting the dots. Like, all right, this one would be really cool, and this one would be cool. That'd be a cool podcast. Yeah. Thing. There's just a lot of like. There's a lot of ideas when I look at the when I look at this <laughs> list of IP and like what people could do stuff with. Like even dude, I would love get the Gears of War developers make re make a starcraft ghost type game Ooh. like remember mm. ghost the third person action game that got canceled i would like just give me an action third person Co star Co yeah coalition pick that mm -hmm. up give me a space marine spiritual successor like in that type of vibe and i got my space marine too i'm super happy but like that could really work and the final thing i'll say because there's more call of duty taught to happen but <laughs> i would like to see an anti-war call of duty game Whoa, like okay. i think not saying like oh war like not saying suddenly war. everything's hippie fight or whatever war never changes but, but like give me like a spec ops the line style mm -hmm. call of duty game where you know they put a slightly more critical eye because every call of duty game is even if they're not always telling the same tale it always comes from the perspective of military is altruistic good <laughs> and it's like you could challenge that are. a little bit coming to the rescue yeah again and i think I think there's a problem with Call of Duty specifically. Has it has so much entrenched with the American military, yeah. and like they do so much charity stuff through them and yep. all this stuff to where they might not be approving of that. But Microsoft has so much money that they could back any idea and it still be viable for them without whatever extra backing of the military that they were getting. Right. So I think that could potentially be really cool, and a lot of these could be really cool. Gun Two, come on. Oh. <laughs> so, stop it with this right? <laughs> that is oh my god if they like if they like red dead a fied gun but like oh. none of the terrible parts of red dead which is like 30 mm. percent of that game like that'd be really cool what studio Ooh. fuck i don't know i don't mm. know i don't know you I, know what I, playground games could do it no not playground mm, mm, I was who's thing. who's uh doing the zombie game play dead uh, no, not play dead. Undead Labs, right? Undead Labs. Yeah, there after you go. State of Decay three, if State of Decay three looks like the triple Aification of State of Decay, mm -hmm. I could imagine Gun in their hands. Gun would be awesome. They should just remaster it and then like see if it like shop it to their studios and be like, hey, want to make this second one? Well, put it on Game Pass. See if people play it, and if people play it, then boom. Gun was yeah. good. Uh, it was it was pretty underrated. I I remember playing that like that was like one of the first games I ever played on. I think on my 360. It was so good. I loved it. Oh shit! True crime. We didn't say true crime. <laughs> true crime. That's another one where I'd love to see that come back. Streets of L.A., Streets of New York, or Gangs in New York. Like mm, I don't think I played any of these games. Yeah, they they were the 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 dollar store GTA. To be honest with you, gotcha. But thank you. They All were right. really I was trying fun. To picture the game, like what what is it? Yeah, okay. I got it. Basically, everyone played Sleeping Dogs. It was a spiritual successor to the true crime games. Oh, um, I love Sleeping so, Dogs. Yeah, Sleeping Dogs is great. So imagine if someone took that true crime. We've been to L.A. We've been to New York. I've been saying put a GTA in Atlanta forever. Oh, this could be. Buddy. Oh. This could Ooh. be the opportunity to have one of those types of games in an Atlanta setting. And I think, once again, you got studios at Xbox that could do it. Even Bethesda could do something like that. They could you get the right studio. Yep. Now, you touched on it for a second. Everyone's going to be making articles and videos for fucking three years until this deal is over with. Asking the exact same question that I'm going to ask you two gentlemen. I want to go one by one, starting with Alex. Mm. Alex, three years from now, you wake up. It's Call of Duty season. It's about to come out. It comes out tomorrow. What okay. platforms does that Call of Duty, Call of Duty anti-war? There we go. It's Call of Duty <laughs> anti-war. Call of Duty the line. There we go. It's Call of Duty the line. <laughs> they're really on the like nose. That. They're really on the nose what they're trying to do. What's it? What what platforms does it come on? It'll it'll come out Xbox, PlayStation. Okay. So it's but good. day uh, but day one on Game Pass. Okay, so sure. so nothing changes other than Game Pass. It's on. Game I Pass. don't think with that with Call of Duty's IP in specific, I don't think it'll change. Okay, Emmett, same hmm. question. So I'm not sure. We can allow. We can, I'm, we on, can... I'm on the sixty forty side, but okay, I'm at so... 60 percent of them uh, staying the way they are. 
So I don't know. Okay. Hmm. Emmett, same question. So this is like after the deal closes, what would it be? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But this will take roughly a year and a half to two years probably to close. Yeah. So the hypothetical is in three years when the deal is closed, hmm. what platforms is it on? I'm saying the next Call of Duty, the next standalone Call of Duty with the campaign and everything, it is either it's an Xbox exclusive right off the bat and you can't play it on PlayStation, but they have the consolation prize of, oh, but we'll put a new map in Warzone based off of the new game. We'll give you, what we'll still support spit, Warzone. The spit in the face. You'll, you'll get a <laughs> PS5 version of Warzone to go along with everything. Because yeah. keep in mind, Warzone's still the PS4 version right oh, yeah. now. So, oh, that's yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I could see yeah, is. that. Yeah. Yeah. I, it is right now. It's very, wow. it's, it's not that bad, but that it is, is what it is. Yeah. Do you think they'll do a timed exclusive, like the year thing that the PlayStation used to use? Oh. I was just about to there say, they goes, might yeah. do that. They might treat Call of Duty how PlayStation. I can see used. that one. I can yeah. see that one. How PlayStation treats their first party games putting on PC, I could see them doing for Call of Duty where a year or two later, you can finally play it on PlayStation. But I, I feel like I only feel that way because it's Call of Duty. When it was exactly. Bethesda, when it was Bethesda, I was like, all right, if it's exclusive, it's exclusive. Like, well, yeah, no, like Overwatch, I think it, Overwatch mm -hmm. 2 is going to be Xbox only. Ooh. Yeah. See, see the, I only see, say no issue, to that because there's an multiplayer. issue with that. I think Emmett's about to bring that up. Okay. Yeah, I I, th I find issue with that just because it's multiplayer. I feel like you're gonna make mm. so much more money off of microtransactions and true. cross play and They can of course go back on this, but technically it was already announced for PlayStation systems. Gotcha. So exactly. I forgot about that. that they too. get into a weird area where you're gonna look like the bad guy, but again, you're about to steal mm. Call of Duty from everyone. So why the fuck do that's, you care? Now to me, mm -hmm. this is a wild prediction. But stick with mm. me here, right? Hit so. Me. Three years from now, Call of Duty in the store. Call of Duty is exclusive to Xbox and, of course, PC. That is unchanged. Comes Game Pass day one. Xbox okay. is doing it in... Mo and how do I start this without sounding like an absolute fucking idiot? Microsoft is building Game Pass for not only the consumer, but for people mainly Sony, to make it mandatory that you have Game Pass on your machine. Yes, this I was, I was building waiting for up, to say it. I want everyone okay. to really understand this. This sounds okay. crazy, I know. I, no, I, I get it. But they are, this, this, is a, this is chess. We're chess right now. Xbox, Phil is up there smoking his $20,000 cigar with a glass of like some wine, I don't know, from fucking Tibet. <laughs> And he's Marlo. like, and, he, and he's yeah, Marlo. <laughs> yes, Marlo. From, he's drinking barefoot from Walmart. If he like, listens mm, to this, I, like, like, I like tasting the peasants. He's, <laughs> but, he's probably listening to this and he's chilling on the couch with his feet up and he's just drinking a Mountain Dew. He's like, he's like guys, come on. Oh you God, know I don't like you. barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> um, my shoes are on right now. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't taken my shoes off yet. <laughs> so that's, that's me. <laughs> so the, to, to get back to, to the thought. They're mm -hmm. making Game Pass not only to make it undeniable to you, the consumer, so me, Alex, Emmett, they're making it undeniable for the actual platform holders. Think Nintendo. Think PlayStation. You, you can now tell your competitor, oh, you know that 30% you get off of every Call of Duty? That's, that's gone now. But! What? <laughs> you can, of course... Let us publish Game Pass as an app on PlayStations. Yeah. And we take as an app. 80% of that cut. You take 20% of every Game Pass subscription on that PlayStation. And we're golden. You get Call of Duty back. I think that's the plan. Bill really is do. moves ahead of all of us. He knows what he's doing with the fucking CEO of Net Microsoft, whatever the hell. They know they're building up their blocks and they're showing Sony like, hey, we got a lot of blocks. You have to Wouldn't think you about love that too, on your like, platform? Wouldn't you love Halo? I'm that's what I say. I was going to say. That would come. That would come. That? Wouldn't you love that? Wouldn't you love? All the Bethesda games are back. Yeah. Oh, everything on Activision Blizzard's here. Everything from EA. Is EA Play part of this? Because that's part of Game Pass. So you get all that stuff. All the sports. That's all there. Well, right. EA Play is already on PlayStation, but that's just like. Right. Or not it's EA Plus. It's Game Pass, though, isn't it? 
Yeah, it is included with Game Pass. Yeah. So like all those people who do not use EA Play through Game Pass or yeah. all the people who are paying for EA Play through PlayStation, yeah. if you paid for Game Pass, then that would just be moot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That would just, yeah. yeah. You just pay for Game Pass. You don't have to pay for EA Play. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That, that sounds fucking great. I don't know if they'll do it, though. <clears throat> so this is... I am 100% confident that Xbox is waiting for the day that they, they mm-hmm. can confidently go up to Sony and say, you ready to start talking? I've heard from trusted yep. people that have talked about it that they did apparently try to get Halo the Master Chief Collection on PlayStation. No idea why. Sounds like a really dumb idea to do that. But apparently that conversation happened at some point. It just didn't go anywhere. What a, be- what a better way to make your competitor s- bring your system, basically, wh- which is Game Pass. I, th- I think, uh, I don't remember the person who said this but basically someone said like x you know microsoft doesn't really care if you buy an xbox they want you to pay for game pass they don't give a fuck what you're playing it on get it on your pc that's why they're trying to make pc game pass better because they mm-hmm. heard everyone saying like eh, it's not really as good as the console one so they're trying to make that better now too at the end of the day this acquisition is to not only make it to where first off before me and alex were always saying like get game pass like it's kind of nonsense if you don't have one um, sorry, physical owners. I know this really sucks, but <laughs> get Game Pass. Now it's literally, what the fuck are you doing? Get Game Pass. Yeah. Unless, of course, physical owner. I understand. You don't want your stuff taken from you. You have to pay physical media, et cetera, et cetera. I can't remember, but can you get xCloud without Game Pass? Nah. No, it's, no right? it's bundled in. Yeah, it it's is literally bundled in. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't remember, and I was for some reason I was thinking I was like, well, I wonder if I Sony believe you have to have ultimate well, as well. Like, yeah, you, you, you yeah, can't yeah, you have, have Game Pass. You have to have ultimate to even be able to play cloud games. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is true. Yeah. So, fifteen bucks a month, PlayStation. Dude, by I, the way, I really do. I do think that is part of their goal. I don't think that's yes. their only goal because you don't spend seventy billion for nothing. Like people keep saying that. No. Um, I do think it is their intention Looking to make you, it Paris. exclusive. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Paris says that all the time. God bless him. And he's right about it. He, <laughs> he is. is right about it. He is, he is. Um, but I'm right there with you. I think part of the long game here is not taking it away from PlayStation so you have to get into the Xbox ecosystem. It's them holding so many games that PlayStation has been used to having on their platform hostage mm-hmm. to where eventually they're like, all right, we want to get back. Just, just Call of Duty we want to get back. And then Microsoft, (laughs) yeah, but like Microsoft will cut the deal and say, all right, you want Call of Duty back? All right, we're come, we're bringing you Call of Duty. We're giving back Bethesda games as well. And we're putting Halo on here through Game Pass. We're putting Gears on here through Game Pass. The whole King Caboodle is coming in as soon as they get get everything. You get nothing. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. That's what they're going to do. There's going to be a boutique Game Pass. I don't think it's going to be everything, but if it, Mm -hmm. if slash when it comes, it is going to be a very cookie cutter game pass it's not going to be the whole thing but it's going to be all the games that you just fucking lost the last two years well, <laughs> well yeah. it just seems like playstation Plus is still the on the on the playstation war situation and Console phil war, is, yeah. yeah yeah and phil is on like dude i just want to play games on everything so like them going to playstation and be like hey i just want our, our people to be able to play these games that are on playstation why not and PlayStation, I could just see them and do the same thing that Nintendo did to Xbox, just laugh in their face and be like, "No," because mm-hmm. I feel like they're just too hup eye on that horse. Well, that, well, and that's a, that comes into. Mm-hmm. Sorry to cut you off really quickly. Go ahead, go ahead. Japanese culture is also kind of that very proud people. So yeah, they just on that yeah. grounds by itself, they might be like, "Go fuck yourself." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, and then Phil has said, you know, a couple times now where they don't even see Nintendo and PlayStation as their primary uh, opposition. Which doesn't that sound like the most like, I don't even (laughs) care what they're doing. Yeah, (laughs) we're above them, whatever, that type of thing. (laughs) We're doing our own thing. (laughs) Yeah, because you got to think about it, especially now that Microsoft has said, hey, Xbox is a core part of our business model now. Like, Mm, it's not just something in the corner. It is something we are putting a lot of weight behind. Yeah. Now they're not looking at Xbox or they're not looking at PlayStation and Nintendo. They're looking at uh, Amazon. They're looking at Google. Mm -hmm. They're looking at like the big titans in tech in general. And so in order to compete on that Mm -hmm. platform, you have to be the dominant force in whatever you're doing. And clearly Google's dominant in some place. Uh, Amazon's dominant in some place. 
dominant. Yeah. Well, hey, I I am subscribed <laughs> I to Stadia Pro. I know you are. That's why I said and it. It is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> two of my game of the it year. Is uh, two of my game. Have actually, to get no, Amazon no, Luna just so I could I could just like rival you, bro. Don't even. <laughs> there's no <laughs> Luna exclusives. Why? Who cares? Um, Here we go. <laughs> yeah, there's at least two Stadia exclusives that are really good. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. In any case, everyone go play Grime and Wavetail. That's I'm off my soapbox. You just made Stadia. that up. Those, those, those two games, games are really good. Wavetail is really fun. Grime is one of my games of the year. Um, okay. Anywho, uh, Grime's on PC too, so you can play it there too. Uh, in any case, the point <laughs> I'm trying to make here is I do think they're trying to just pressure PlayStation into doing it. And I do think once PlayStation does it, Nintendo's not that far behind nope. or you know, vice versa. I think one of them is going to fold. Probably not within this console generation. No, I, think- I don't think so either. Yeah, I think come PlayStation 6, around that time, maybe you'll start seeing some stuff. Because then they're reevaluating everything because, you know, new platform. They'll they'll test out how this uh, Xbox, or not Xbox, they'll test out how these PC ports are going. Um, and maybe at some point, depending on the rate of these PC ports, are they going to run out of games to port? Because Definitely will. They're, because they're never going to do a day one, but they also want to make sure they're having a consistent, you know, we got we got Horizon last year. We got God of War, what, a couple days ago. Yep. Um, we got Days Gone last year as well. At a certain point, it's going to be like, all right, maybe we'll give them Resistance 3. <laughs> <laughs> but then at that God, point, no. it's PS3, so diminishing returns because yeah. you got to work so much harder on yeah, that. Yeah, you have so to work like, a lot harder. Yeah, I think, the, I think it's pretty clear what PlayStation is doing with these PC titles. They're definitely, in my opinion at least, seems like they're buffing out their physical quarters. Like It, it feels mm-hmm. like they're like, hey, let's add some fucking cash in some of these quarters. Make us look a little better. Um, For sure. So I, I think that's partly the reason, but also I do think they want a PC presence. Um, I don't know if I believed the article earlier that was like, the PlayStation Studios talked them into it. I was like, I don't know, man. Maybe they probably that convinced did happen. them. Do you think solely them? I feel like, like I, I, I bet maybe that I'm misrepresenting the power they have. But I was like, mm-hmm. I feel like you gotta talk a lot of people into that. And not I'll, I'll say people. it like this: I bet the shareholders were like, oh, we could stand to have a little bit more money in these quarters. And I think the developers were like, well, it's already we're already making these games for what's basically a PC. It wouldn't be too much work to just port it to that right. console or point it to the pc as well so i think they convinced them that it wouldn't be so much of an extra cost i don't yeah. think they said you okay. should do this it's just if you did it it wouldn't be that hard and also nixus is like over there we can maybe buy exactly we can, can do nick all the them. work for us <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I feel you. call of duty seems like it were kind of half and half we don't know if it's going to be exclusive i think it is Alex, I think of, it is. Kind of, like, I think you I, won't be able I to play a can, campaign in Call of Duty on PlayStation after 2024. Yeah, no, I can agree with that. I definitely see the one year exclusive. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I so I don't I don't know if it'll be them. fully at that point. So. Why even sell it on PlayStation? Yeah, because then the people who don't want to buy an Xbox will wait that extra year. That is tr- true. That or or they'll pay in the Game Pass and play it on cloud if they really care that much. But if you care about Call of Duty campaigns that much, you're just going to buy an Xbox. Yeah, you're just going to buy an Xbox. <laughs> yeah. Most yeah. of these people are just going to buy an Xbox. And that this is actually another thing to bring up, too, is, Jesus, if someone asks me, hey, what system should I buy? Fucking A, this is a lot harder oh, yeah. now. Uh, what oh, no, it's easier. <laughs> no, it, I would say the Xbox sorry, Game Pass. Sorry. Yeah. I, I should preface this. It's a lot it, it's a lot. It, it's it's changed. The conversation has changed. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it has changed. Because <laughs> prior, I asked the question: Do you like multiplayer or single player? Single player, go to PlayStation. On multiplayer, usually plays better on Xbox. Now it's like shit. Do you like Call of Duty? Fucking get better by the Xbox. Do you like then. first person shooters at all? Then buy an Xbox <laughs> at <laughs> all. Because that is Halo. That is Doom. That is Wolfenstein. That is Doom. Call of Duty. I still can't believe that is Rage. <laughs> like get the hell up out of here if that is like, Overwatch <laughs> if you like Overwatch, only yeah. Killzone from the PS4 <laughs> yeah if you, you like Killzone, Killzone Shadowfall and nothing so else so do we anyways <laughs> I'm not fuck even Killzone where's my resistance come on <laughs> and Battlefield even, yeah good point no I'm not even bringing that game up <laughs> he's very also good point too. Yeah. I completely understand yeah, I mean literally all, all I 
I played the beta when it came out, and I was like, I see something here, but it's completely broken. But it's just the beta, and then the game came out. Um, then but that yeah, that game came out the exact uh, same yeah. shape. That in game a few did months come older. out. It's like, what the You're fuck? You're right. What but did yeah. you do? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, over on the PlayStation side, it really does feel like, as far as first person shooters go, I know they have that. I think Firebreak Games is making some online you know first person shooter for yeah. them as an exclusive yeah. but past I that saw, yeah i saw that in the it wasn't that on their website that their current mm-hmm. project was that yeah yeah that's it, their current project now be out god knows when but after that resistance isn't coming back Killzone ain't coming back um you mag really isn't, coming back. isn't coming back <laughs> i what's up if with resistance this twitter account if it's Look. not coming back i need to talk shit about that pr then why the okay, fuck they, are you still tweeting about them? Still, I feel like they do that just as like a nostalgia play because they every now and then, it, every now and then true. they'll tweet. If that is true, I'm Look, pissed. I also don't like it as a big Resistance fan. I think that's like what number like forty two of my favorite games of all time or something. It's high. It's in like the fifties or something. Um, in my top one hundred, but insomniac has been known to just be like hey remember remember <laughs> tools of destruction and just tweet out a gift from it or some shit like they'll do that oh all the time God, that is so like you can't i do think that it here i think can't. it's only difference for resistance because we all want it so bad i think that's the only difference that that's like sucker punch being like remember infamous fuck you <laughs> that's the same oh, fuck yeah <laughs> I, I remember it, it yes <laughs> it'd be fucking great if you did something about it yeah, um, we're never getting an infamous game. Nope, at least never. not from uh, at least not from Sucker Punch. No, not from never Sucker Punch. No, 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 no. They got yeah. that Ghost of Shima money. They're like, <sighs> they're yeah, like shit about infamous anymore. Sad it's, it's to just, say, just a JRPG five. <laughs> JRPG five. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, well, actually, let me ask that. Do y'all what? think Sony would buy anybody in? Re- well, maybe not. buy. here's the thing. I think Sony has feels is going to feel pressured to respond to this in some way. Okay, yeah, you took the words right I, out of my mouth. Yeah, but I just don't know because, like, if they buy anybody, what are they going to do? They might have enough money to snatch a Capcom. Might have enough money to snatch a Sega or even Atlas, less less maybe? a Sega, either an Atlas or Square Enix. I could see. Atlas Square Enix or Capcom oh, being a PlayStation Sega acquisition. A, well, I guess they could buy Atlas from Sega. Don't, but the thing about Sega is I don't think they have really tight PlayStation connections. Um, even I think PS3 generation it was a very tenuous relationship until the Yakuza game started coming out on there. So, yeah, I, I don't know how I feel about that. But Square Enix, they are super tight right now. Um, Capcom, I feel like they're pretty tight. I feel like a lot of the Resident Evil games had a relationship with them, especially Resident Evil 7 and stuff. Um, you know, I feel like there's it's tight there. But honestly, I feel like PlayStation is more inclined to just be like, all right, we don't have the money to like buy a big ass company right now. But let's give them the God of War Ragnarok date or something within the like next two weeks or something so, so that their stock price the doesn't drop. 50%. So exactly. actually on that mm-hmm. feelers, because I do not know if um you know specifically what since you just brought that up i don't know if you know that these individuals brought that up um but i have two things to bring up that we that people we know have brought up inside the gaming industry that is very ominous one Mm. piggybacking on what you just said um the uh uh defining duke uh mr maddie plays and lord cognito from iron lords i think i I think that's all right I'm aware of Mr. Maddie. Yeah, I they know that show. Tweet? No, no, no. Who tweeted this? Lord Cog retweeted someone replying to uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Maddie plays, stating that they remember them saying they are going to announce this acquisition to cover something up. Wait, Xbox that... was going to announce yes. this to cover something up? Yes. Whatever they, they miss, the specific thing was Mr. Mad Place said the next acquisition is going to be announced to cover up another thing that's going to happen. All right. So mm. is that the Sony Spartacus thing? Is that something we just don't know about yet? Is that just something that, you know, rumors you know can what? be wrong all the time? So, as, a, as a side note, maybe related, but probably not entirely related. I did just see a tweet while we were talking about this that's kind of related to activision blizzard trying to cover some stuff up um what is it 
There's a Wall Street Journal article. I'm just going to read the quote from it. Uh, Mr. Kodak has been eager to change the public narrative about the company in recent weeks and has suggested Activision Blizzard make some kind of acquisition, including purchasing a gaming trade publication like Kotaku or PC Gamer. So they were talking about that before they got bought. About maybe just buying Kotaku to take the heat off, which wouldn't have taken the heat off. <laughs> I was going to say, no yeah. offense, Kotaku, not the one you need to buy. Yeah. <laughs> it's not yeah. the one you need to buy. That is, uh, that's, that's, like, that's like Amazon buying Wall Street Journal and suddenly, oh, here's why you shouldn't text billionaires. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, my fucking... Oh, Emmett? <laughs> yeah. Those fucking articles, buddy. I was like, ah, mm. oh, I wonder who's sucking your fucking dick right now. Yeah. Anyways. But yeah, when, when you said that initially, I was like, they're covering up something i thought you were saying that there was a bad xbox thing coming out soon that so this was gonna cover it could, up it could it could be i don't mm. it was very ominous he retweeted yeah. this moments after the acquisition was announced stating that they most likely still know something again this could be the spartacus situation it could be a bad xbox thing could be a bad microsoft thing could be something we just aren't thinking of because good playstation no thing. maybe it is spartacus i that that's kind of where i'm leading on maybe they know spartacus is about to be announced and they're like bam we just bought activision blizzard motherfucker this does take a lot of the air out of the tires of spartacus I'm not it gonna does lie. it does yeah. and i feel like that's what they were alluding to that I, for some reason they don't want to say i guess I, I i don't know why but um if that is one thing that i can think of within reason if we're not just assuming something bad's about to happen it's bad we should be getting Spartacus soon, sometime soon, that or at least whatever that same, is. That would have been messed up if uh, Spartacus was like Game Pass is like, oh, you can play, you know, Call of Duty exclusive like through Spartacus, and <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> well, what's What's funny is, imagine if Xbox did know that they were going to announce it today or something like that, and they knew like, oh, they're gonna announce it around this time. Let's fucking right, right, right I mean, at the beginning of the day. This morning. Right yeah, at the beginning it was of the day, let's, let's and and maybe PlayStation had to scramble like fuck, let's take it all down. <laughs> I mean, if any, if anything, I bet PlayStation because I've I've been saying it all the time. I don't think Spartacus is going to be as impressive as we're hoping. Nope. I don't think I don't think PlayStation Three is going to be natively think played on the PS5. Worst case scenario, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> it, you know what? Loves doing that shit for some reason. I, if it's the worst case scenario, I bet it's going to be like five dollars cheaper than we think it's going to be. If it is the worst case scenario, I think it's going to balance out in that way. Where if it's not that great, it won't cost that much. <laughs> so that's what it's, I'm betting. It's gonna do the same thing where it's just it's just like P, it's PS now with PlayStation Plus, but you you just have to stream everything. So I think it's just gonna be included, but you still gotta stream all of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Isn't I think they're just gonna thing combine they it still and not do? do anything else. They have a fucking warehouse somewhere just with PS4s playing random games. Isn't that fucking PS3s? Weird? <laughs> sorry ps3 sorry yeah yeah like that, you can download well. the ps4 games but ps3s you can't do jack shit they have ps3s is just playing crazy. yeah there has to be a better I, engineering solution to this <laughs> like it can't be the best response this can't be <laughs> yeah I, I just don't think playstation is going to be willing to put in the money to figure out ps3 backwards compatibility or to give up their cash cow of uh of first party exclusives i think the best case scenario for spartacus is uh first party exclusives a year later come on spartacus Ooh. best case scenario and that's a pretty good best case scenario that's not bad but it's not great. yeah <laughs> it's not like great it's, it's not like great. if you don't own a ps5 it's either okay i can buy the game i can buy the console and spend 60 dollars, 70 dollars on the game or i can wait a year and play it on the pc i already have because it will get ported at some point or play it on Spartacus. Or play it on it's Spartacus. Just, it's weird that you can't just put the disc in. I mean, fuck, all of our systems can, like, fucking read DVDs. Why can't it read a PS3 Blu-ray? Oh, it can I mean, read it. It, it just can't run it. I was going to say, oh, yeah, well, it can't run the game. Cell processing well, at its finest. It was the, the future. Well, what fuck was out it? Of here. It was, the, was it the PS4 or the PS5 that can't run 4K Blu-rays? That was PS4, PS4 Pro. Pro. Was it Pro. PS4 Pro, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, mm -hmm. it couldn't play 4K Blu-rays, and I was over I here on my why. One X. And I was just sliding in the 4K <laughs> disc. Sony's like over there like, one. if you put a 4K Blu-ray, we're punching in the face. Because we're selling <laughs> 4K Blu-rays, all right? Fuck out of here. Um, So <laughs> you kind of touched on it, guys. Uh, mm -hmm. Emmett, you, you especially. Um, let's say you wake up, you're in Jim Ryan's body. <laughs> you're going, you're going over to Japan to talk to Sony executives. They're pissed. They're like, well, all right, how do, how do we respond to any of this? 
like I said, God of War Ragnarok coming out March 31st really? or whatever. But you announced the, that tomorrow. The, but that's the best you, they have. Well, that's the first thing you put on that's the That's the table. first thing. Okay. Because th- yeah. these are things that you can't, I mean, it's not like they could just go out and be like, all right, I'm buying a studio tomorrow. So, like, I understand. I'm not saying something like that. But, like, what? It, what is, like, the, what's the, like, plan now? Like, hey, let's go shop around. Let's make new studios. I prefer them just to make new shit. But I know. We're announcing PSX is coming back. <laughs> God, if only we're gonna kill if everyone. You, if you have COVID, <laughs> come get it now. <laughs> it could be digital. The COVID flash sale. E3 God. is digital this year, so. Well, I feel like Sony either. has been trying to minimize their costs so much. Like the yeah. fact that they a didn't go to E3, they didn't want the boost based on all that stuff. The fact that they consolidated all of Japan Studio. What do they need the money for? They can't make systems. But like, I mean, they they're, can. It's, they're it's definitely using enough. that money. They bought Insomniac what last year or the year first. before? Year, they bought Insomniac year, like a year, year or last year. Twenty twenty. Last. Year, right? Oh, it was last year. I thought so. I want to say I it was, was right just, before Miles, I and if it was that, then it was twenty twenty. Oh wait, no, that that sounds right. Before Miles sounds right. Yeah, right before Miles. So yeah, they they just bought Insomniac for nearly a billion. Um, uh, fall of twenty nineteen. So mm-hmm. when they uh, Sony acquired Insomniac for a steal. Yep. Frankly, yeah, yeah. two hundred twenty-nine million, it's like a robbery. Might as well Wait, two hundred twenty-nine million? Yeah, you said almost a billion. I was like, maybe you just misspoke. I don't want to call you out. I thought yeah, it was nine hundred twenty-nine. No, you're it's, no, it's twenty-four point eight billion yen. You're thinking uh, of yen? Okay. No, he wasn't. <laughs> no I wasn't thinking, thinking of yen, yen but <laughs> I just thought they got <laughs> perfect. I'm, for... I'm just, I know. Just <laughs> Thanks for the alley oop, but I missed the ball. I fucking cratered it. But yeah, I. I, they did just buy Fire Sprite as well, so like they're making purchases. They're making but moves. They're They've bought. I mean, stuff. three studios. That's a pretty. That's a pretty big deal. And the last year, basically, a year and a half, I guess you could say. Um, do, do they make? Do do they? Mm. Sh- I mean, do they shoot back? I mean, I think I think you brought it up earlier. Square is the easy option. If, but again, I don't think they'll buy any t- any studios. Like not 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 of that size. I don't think they're no. buying. Square. I don't think they're buying a publisher. I'll say it like that. Okay, I, I was about to say yeah, you don't think. Oh, anything. Yeah, I think they could buy Square. Would they? <clears throat> that's a lot of money, and that's a lot of people you got to talk to uh, in Sony. That you have to be like, hey. Uh, plus, plus, you got to think about it. They spend a lot of money on Activision because that is guaranteed. You can change mm-hmm. nothing about that studio, and they will make your money back. Yeah. Damn. So like yeah. that's guaranteed. You, Square, you show all the executives look at Call of Duty. Um, the twenty twenty, I think it was twenty twenty one MPDs came out. I think yesterday or something like that. Call the of Duty is in the top two. Top yeah. <laughs> two. Last year's Call of Duty's on it. That doesn't even make any fucking sense. Yeah, and I bought both of those. <laughs> <laughs> so like, hey, part of the problem. But I did intuit this, or actually, I didn't predict anything. But I bought Vanguard on Xbox, so I got lucky on that. I, that's go. gonna pay off in the long run. Sure. Um, <laughs> Square Enix coming over here with their Avengers. Yeah. Oh God. See, that's the thing. That's why I say Square Enix is not such a solid purchase because no, it's true. For every, for they every, got a Rome Reborn though. So. I don't know. Well, yeah. For every great Final Fantasy title, you have a weird one like Avengers, and then for every God, what's another dud from them? Shadow of the Tomb Raider. See that game. I wouldn't call it a dud. It's it, it's just it didn't flat. sell anything. Like yeah, but it, like it, I assumed that was what we're talking about. I don't think it sold almost anything. So I I, I mean well, yeah, true. I, I feel it, like it, that it, is it, an apt comparison because that thing um, was like DOA basically. I mean, the near replicant remaster do any good? Yeah, it, it did pretty good. It, it did, did okay. fine for it, what it, it for what good. it is. I think it did pretty yes, good. Yes, it did very good for what it is. Yeah, nonsense. But Outriders like, nonsense. Outriders was very successful. Was it was it really? a classic Japan, because- but at the time it had a lot of players. It sold a decent amount of copies, but mainly I remember it. It Game was Pass. the thing everyone talked about. Let's for not like forget three Game Pass. They probably made all of their money back mm-hmm. with the Game Pass. Oh yeah, I'm sure they overspent. It was a profit over. already. With yeah, Game they Pass. they probably broke even with the Game Pass deal, and we're like, we don't give a fuck now. Whatever, like whatever <laughs> comes out on. They probably made the deal before the game even came out. Who knows? Um, yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> I, sorry, way before I meant like a year. Yeah. Sorry, of course right. they did before the game came out. Absolutely. Anyways, I think yeah, just so, Marvel Avengers was just a biggest fall because Guardians I, came out and that did pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it did okay. I think. Um, I don't yeah. quite remember the MPD 
So that, anyways, Alex, Guardians probably did pretty fine, but like Babylon's fall, that's gonna fall. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> you you see you you ooh. just made someone's headline right there. You saw that you saw, you saw that that was a headline in the making. Babylon's Fan fall. Fanbite credit me when you use that. <laughs> <laughs> they like clever headlines. Alex, hmm. what do you what you're you're, you're in Jim Ryan's body? What do you what do you try to do? You double down I, on Spartacus? I, do you? I I agree with them, and I feel like they're like, just gonna try to do some big reveal to get people to counteract something. They're gonna do, like I said, some. They're gonna announce that there's some type of event happening. It's, it's not, or I'm not saying it's PSX. Not saying they're gonna be at E3 again this year. Finally, if it happens, if it have what if E3 happens? Yeah, if it happens, it's a rumor. It I won't it, even happen. Oh, really? Okay, I yeah. thought it says just gonna be has like only. no money. Got it. <sighs> God damn! <laughs> yeah, it's it was yeah. COVID, it's all digital. Uh, COVID yeah. fucked COVID them up. Fucked them up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, yeah, yeah. yeah no, I, 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 it would be some type of reveal. Be like, hey, we need to announce something now. <laughs> I don't know. So, like, I, I we can't I buy anything. Hope, but um, yeah. I kind of hope they do what they did with Bethesda and just let it let it sit. Take it, take it on the chin, and then double down on what. Not necessarily Xbox doesn't have yet, which is yeah. quality over quantity, which is, in my opinion, very important. Mm-hmm. PlayStation mm-hmm. has, oh, oh, okay, all right, we can talk about that too. But I think PlayStation okay. has the, I mean, nail on the coffin. I I put it on my gravestone. They are quality. Vast yeah. majority of the time versus Xboxes, and again, this is a guy who basically only plays on Xbox. They have a quantity, but not necessarily is all their games hitting like a God of War. Like my like like yeah. my last favorite games from the last few years are all PlayStation titles, all of them. Last of Us, Last of Us Part Two, God of War, uh, The Uncharted. Uh, thank you. Like I mean, Jesus. Like it, that is it takes so long to get to an Xbox Game Studio title. Uh, uh, Gears just... Five is better than every Uncharted game. I'm gonna say that again. I think I said that last time I was here. But I still believe that. Gears 5 is better than every Uncharted game. It is not better than The Last of Us. And it's probably... I like Gears 5 more than God of War the reboot. But I don't think that's objectively the case. (laughs) I love Gears 5. I love Gears 5 so much. The God of War reboot is fine. I like God of War 3 more than the reboot. He left! He He actually left! left. He left, damn it! Look what you did! (laughs) Look what you did, Emmett! <laughs> oh no! Oh god! Emmett! Oh, look, I look, have. Aside from your opinions, <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to come back. He's trying to resurrect everyone. Oh he's my god! He's trying to resurrect. Look, I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> look, Emmett, I... you're not. <laughs> uh, Moving on. Wrong. <laughs> yeah. Look, Gears, was gr- look, Gears right. five was great. <laughs> But I, I don't know. I'll give you Uncharted One. Might give you Uncharted Two. Fuck off with the rest of that, though. <laughs> Uncharted Lost Legacy is the best one. And I won't fight you on that. That's a p- all right. There we go. Great there we go. game. Fucking great game. I had a good might- take. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want. I want a gif of that. Just like good take. <laughs> but um, Rory Schmitz make that and do a gif. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I. What the fuck were we talking about? <laughs> I don't we're, even know. We that. were talking about the quality the versus middle. quantity thank argument. You, thank you. They I left in the middle of the conversation. Quality, so. yeah, Gears Five. Holy shit! That was a really good game, though. <laughs> I loved the uh, Skiff. I think it was what it's called. That was, oh that yeah, was Skiff's awesome. great. That's so satisfying. And Kate Diaz, such a compelling character. Jesus. Look, I mean, you yeah. should if like you the t- next one. They have a Skiff-like vehicle. All right, and the next God of War. Oh, okay. That'll fix all my problems with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I'm right? sure that yeah. was his issue. Like, fuck, there's not enough skiffs in this game. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Scandinavian skiffs, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I, I see. I hate the night, new God of War because of the boot, the boat. What the fuck was it even? The boat animation was reused or something. I had to explain that to Alex because he doesn't use Twitter like us madmen do. Like, like we like. Oh yeah. Much. So I was like, yeah. yeah told me this and I was like. Who cares? What? <laughs> it was like explaining like the future to a, like a barbarian because he was like, that doesn't make any sense. Why would someone get mad at that? And I was like, exactly, I guess. It was kind of dumb. Like, we, all shitted, we all shitted on him for like a couple days. It was really fun. Mm. Reminds me of the Halo Fruit guy. 
That was oh my that was a fun couple of days. R.I.P. Alo Fruit guy. <laughs> Sentences that wouldn't make sense in 2002. <laughs> exactly. Anyways, um, so we, yeah, we touched on the uh, kind of, I guess you call clap back of PlayStation. I guess quickly to give my thoughts, I'm in the middle. I don't really know what you do. I think you let it breathe. You double down on the uh, quality aspect, show off, like Emmett said, God of War Ragnarok. And maybe announce some title that you're kind of hoping comes out, maybe. Ooh, uh, Haven Studios. Announce what they're working on. Jade Raymond and them. Oh, oh, oh that's real early. They're, still, they're probably still hiring people, too. So I don't know uh, if they can. CG trailer. Got enough time. It's been yeah. about a year and a half. That's true. I, I mean, they don't true. even got to do anything. All they got to do is they, they're working on it. Like with um, e, it was what Skate did. Hey, we can't show anything, but we're working on it. Game. And mm-hmm. every, you saw how people lit. I, mean, I want that. I want that quote need. like memorized. I want to send that to a game dev. Like you don't have to do anything. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. Stop being so lazy. Make a CG trailer for God's sakes. Um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I, I I think you double down on the quality aspect. You double down on hey, uh, we don't care about the numbers game here. We care about each game coming out being a ten. Let's not think about Days Gone right now. You know things like that. Like like like. God of War, Spider-Man 2, which, I mean, everyone's excited for those two games. Like, like that is almost every PlayStation owner. If you say one of those games, they're like, yeah, I can't wait for that. So you double down that, and I think they have, I mean, they're kind of in a corner. I think they have to purchase someone. I, who? Fuck, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think and, the consumer <laughs> cares about them purchasing anyone. I think it's just for shareholders. And no, they, mm. that's yeah, that's my point. From a consumer standpoint, yeah, I don't think any of this matters. I think from a specific, what should Sony think about to not appear weak? I guess in the mm-hmm. honestly, I don't think shareholders' even, eyes. Honestly, even they, even if they bought someone, I, I if anything, it looks like they're uh, it. I don't think it would be as impressive as what we've gotten. And I feel like it, it so people are going to be like, oh, look at Sony, look at Sony just trying to trying to be cool like them or trying to like, yeah, you know, bring their bases up. It's like, nah, I feel like it, it, if they even try to buy a studio, it would come out being an, as, as a bad thing. I mean, I don't so, want to buy anyone, but I didn't want this to happen either. I don't get yeah. what I want. <laughs> to run out, yeah. oh, a second thing to bring up really quickly. I don't know if you two saw this. Um, Gary Witta writer of Rogue One, tweeted out a very <laughs> ominous tweet. I want to oh, preface no. everything I'm about to say is, this guy could just be fucking with us. I'll say that again. Gary guy, would be the one to do that. could just yep. be fucking with us. As Just as a reminder, I just want to bring that up for the people mm-hmm. listening. Don't think too much into this, because he just might be fucking with us. But he did bring up and tweet out that, uh, I'll get the direct quote, but basically, if you, the quote was basically, if you thought the Activision <clears throat> Xbox um, purchase was big, just wait. Oh, no. And that's it. That's all he said. No content, no context, nothing like that. That was all he said. Could mean nothing. <clears throat> that's a really weird thing to say, uh, especially for him, because I do believe he could know something like that, because he's just been in oh, yeah. so long. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'll say this real quick. I don't want Xbox buying any more any more companies at all, really. No. But one company I'd be okay with them if it was another big merger like this. One thing I'd be okay with, Embracer Group. Just okay. because they have THQ, Coke Media, all yeah. that stuff. That's like a B tier. I feel like you wouldn't lose too much in the third party realm from that because honestly, I'm one of the only fans of their games anyway. So like, I'm not bugging out too much, but and then the IP changes there are interesting. But like, you don't buy anything else. You got enough. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, oh uh, yeah. So this is the direct quote. If you thought mm-hmm. yeah, Xbox Activision was the biggest gaming news story of the day slash week, just you wait. Oh, that okay. Wait, I know what that's a reference to. That's not a reference to any of this. Um, what the he, fuck? G- Gary Witta and I got I believe his name is Adam Nickerson. Um, they made a Wordle clone was. about swear words. What? That's all it is. They remember the game Wordle on phones. They made yeah. a clone of that, but it's swear words. I knew he was fucking with people. Yeah, and but they're putting that on apps. Hyping this shit yeah. up, and I was like, do, do other people know yeah. something? Gary Witta doesn't realize the power he has. He he he, he, he talked that about was, it on KFGD. That was quote, <laughs> that was quoted 
sorry, quote, tweeted 3,000 times, replied to 1,200 times, and liked by 12,000 people. Jesus Christ. You got to you use your power wisely there, my friend. <laughs> but again, yeah. I would be shocked if he was just fucking with people. It's kind of funny. Come on. Yeah, it, it's just a mobile app. Don't Let's not read into that. <laughs> Thank you, Emmett. That's why we love you. You know everything. Sometimes. To <laughs> round this out, I kind of want to just give the floor back to you two gentlemen. Is there something that I did not cover that you want to touch on? We didn't really cover King that much. That's a huge mobile developer. We can touch on what this means for the actual gaming space. Is this positive? Is this negative? Sounds like we're kind of negative on it, but we can expound on that. Some more. Is there anything we didn't touch on? Alex, Emmett, anything? Hmm. Um, you got anything, Alex? I was trying to think. Okay. Sorry, well, it's like late on this side, so I'm getting tired. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I can give you some time to think. Go ahead, um, go ahead. Uh, I think, I mean, you talk about King. King is very big, but I do feel like where Take Two bought Zynga as what the express expectation of taking Zynga and saying, hey, make us a Call of Duty for mobile, make yep. us uh, all of our different, a 2K for mobile. That's their intention there. Right. I don't think Microsoft has that intention because all their Xbox games are already on mobile through xCloud. Um, King feels like just something good to have in the background, a guaranteed money maker. I think you brought just, it up earlier, like you get to show the shareholders, mm -hmm. like they have Candy hey. Crush, like that. This exactly. probably helps them a lot, man. justifying the purchase. Like they have Candy Crush. This made X amount of money in God, candy I money. Much. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, thing in candy the money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's just a guaranteed earner for them, the King purchase. But like overall, I think, like I said, I think eventually, slowly but surely, as things move on with the transition, Xbox's culture is going to creep into Activision's culture and take out the rot and put up new walls. I don't think they're going to be aggressive about it necessarily, but I think it's going to happen over time. Mm -hmm. um, Bobby Kotick, whether he leaves with money or not, he's probably going to leave with money. Is going to leave and things are going to get better over there. Hopefully, those closes, Raven strikers come back. He's, he's exactly. He's dead man walking in terms of a job there. And he knows yeah. that. He's not, he's not a dumb Certainly. man. Certainly. Certainly. So I'm pretty sure that's going to leave. But I think overall, I don't, I don't want to get too excited about like, oh, all these IPs are going to get all these new games. I think a lot of stuff's going to come to Game Pass. But ultimately, I think Xbox is going to facilitate an environment where, oh, and something we didn't even talk about the Call of Duty call, talk, Call of Duty talk. Um, I expect those podcast, games to Call of Duty talk. Yeah, oh my god. Um I, I expect those games to no longer be a yearly life cycle. Okay. I, mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. You got the next topic. I need <laughs> Con -talk, I, I, Con -talk. I, so many people have said this. Mm -hmm. So you think they bought them and were like, all right, no more yearly cods. Like you you do you do think I I don't think they're going to I have a feeling of yeah. that too. I thought about that mm -hmm. earlier. Yeah. Cuz remember when I asked you I was like, "Hey, um is, is Treyarch part of this?" and you're like, "Yeah." And I was like, mm. Well, I don't think we're gonna get Treyarch and then Rocks and then Rocks or what is it? Uh, Raven uh, Sledgehammer. Or Sledgehammer and like we back to back to back. I mm -hmm. think they'll probably take a year or two off and then find like try to figure out so it doesn't get too repetitive. Yeah, I think I think the modern Even warfare it makes them money. Too. I don't know. Yeah, I mean it makes them a lot of money, but I just feel like Microsoft has more. They delayed Halo for a whole year, y'all. If anything, and, the, yeah. that was after money getting is, yelled at a lot, though. A lot. Um, but they did that's, it and look at the game that's now. True. That's true. Look, I think and that was clearly going to be a launch they're... title for the system. The fucker was on the the box. <laughs> look, mm -hmm. I think I think they will do it because they have Warzone. Warzone is its own standalone thing. I think that's a good they thing to bring up. Literally, they're like, hey, we have Warzone. Just keep giving them, you know, their uh, little events. Uh, you know, add shit. They're adding Levi from Attack on Titan literally in two days. Oh my god. <laughs> um wait do not space. put out a call of duty I, I think they'll probably do one this year but next year hold yeah. off maybe we'll give it to a treyarch after that and we'll see where we go and just keep going on with warzone yeah i think that's what, what they did with forza they gave it a well not with uh, forza i'm sorry assassin's creed they gave it a they, they stopped mm -hmm. doing the yearly stuff i think what you're gonna better. start yeah, exactly. I think what you're going to start seeing is instead of it being three studios dropping every year, I think it's going to be Modern Warfare 2, the rumored Modern Warfare 2 comes out this year, mm -hmm. and Infinity Guaranteed. Ward has two years after that, maybe three years after that, just make your DLC, make your content updates. This is a live game for all intents and purposes, and it's time back into Warzone in whatever way. 
And then after that three years, you go back to Treyarch and Treyarch, instead of having three years to work on the game, they have because they've already been working for, what, two years. Now they get three more. Yeah. And then after that, you get Sledgehammer. Now they've had six years because mm -hmm. Treyarch has been supporting their title for three years on top of that. I think that's how you have not only better COD games in the long run, but more inspired, have better ideas. And I want a fucking story with this card, all right? <laughs> exactly. Like, I don't think you're getting another Call of Duty game like Black Ops 4 ever again. Oh, my God. Because Black Ops 4 was just... So they needed horrendous. To make it. I definitely agree with the aspect of they're going to be able to delay games. I agree with that. What, I don't, I'm, what I'm not quickly to agree upon is they immediately stop yearly releases. They'll phase I, it out. It, yeah. I, if, I have to, if I have to pick a, a, a lane... I think I think I agree with you. Like in about three years to four, mm -hmm. they'll be like, "All right," and they'll probably announce it like right before the new one comes out. No new Call of Duty next year. We're giving everyone a break to polish. Warzone are going to have regular updates, which kind of is the Call of Duty platform, I guess. Yeah. Um. So that'll get yearly. This that that'll get updates for the next year while there isn't a new Call of Duty. Which, just as a frame of reference, we haven't had not had a Call of Duty. Like in a year, like they haven't missed a year since what two thousand seven. It has been a long time. Or actually, since, since three, maybe when three come out. Call of Duty right three now. was when they started annual releases, right? Because Call of Duty Modern Warfare for sure. I'm pretty sure Call of Duty three came out the year prior. Yeah, Call Remember of Duty three was two thousand six. Uh, let's see, original Call of Duty was two thousand three. Call of Duty two was two thousand and five. Call of Duty mm -hmm. 3 was 2006, 4, 2007. Yep, and then that starts. War, I know the rest of them. War, War was 2008. Yep, yep. so that yep. starts. Yes, yeah, so Jesus, yeah. So since 2005. 2005. They, so th this this is like more reliant than like, like this was like how you could test the season. Like, you know Call of Duty's coming mm -hmm. out. So like, Jesus. if that yeah. happens, they're breaking a basically 15, almost 20 year cycle. So that's just important to know. I don't. I I could see it happening. It's been clear that that cycle is no longer sustainable. So they will is be breaking it? that up. Did we it, just talk about the empty results for the last year? Dude, I, it was. I'm not saying it's not because, like, money wise, it works. I feel like Xbox cares just enough about their their employees to not force another one out every I'll, single year. I'll agree with that. Um, I'll agree with that. Yes. Because clearly it's taking a toll on the workers and clearly it's taking a toll on the game in that certain is, years. That is an important thing to bring up. I will mm -hmm. cease to that as well. I agree with that wholeheartedly. I that is a good point to bring up that maybe a lot of the situations came up because they had to make a there yeah. was that was a strict schedule. Regardless mm -hmm. of if they had three years. That like if y'all remember, if y'all remember the shit show that was Modern Warfare 3's development, that's when Sledgehammer got brought into the mix for the first time, and now they're you know a regular studio that had that was in that was a bunch of different studios trying to put that thing together. So, you know they have a history for this. And the last thing I'll say on this point, once you have it to where, because right now it's not just Treyarch making a game, it's not just uh, Infinity War, it's not just Sledgehammer. They got Raven supporting them, they got Toys for Bob supporting them, all these support studios for Call of Duty. Now they slow down the pace, so it's just in or Insomniac. Oh my God, it's just uh, Infinity, Infinity Ward, Ward working on it, and then you can take Toys for Bob and say, "Hey, you can actually make your Crash Bandicoot Five. You take um, Vicarious Visions. Hey, you can actually make your proper, oh, you know, know, Tony Hawk game. Um, now Wait, you I have all the these studios one? that were doing support; they can make real games." Am I thinking of the wrong thing? Who made Spyro? Spyro was Toys for Bob as well. Okay, I wasn't wrong. I was like, fuck, did they not yeah. make Spyro? Yeah, Vicarious no, I, Visions is not Tony Hawk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, yeah, that's exciting. And I do kind of hope they peel away these support devs because you can, and I think this is the end goal, like have a game every quarter. I mean, imagine mm -hmm. Microsoft then launching a game God. every single quarter. That's a fucking yeah. huge deal for your Once this deal closes, that is possible. That's, Likely even. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's happening. You might even get two. So, like, we're talking nonsense mm. territory with terms of money. And, again, that's why I want to reiterate, like, these people at the top are five moves ahead on whatever the hell they're doing. They're lining <laughs> up studios. And as soon as the domino starts falling, PlayStation has to have an answer. Because mm -hmm. imagine, because once it starts falling, it might not fucking stop oh, until like, they figure I out. I got something. nothing. 
<laughs> the inflation is like fuck. I don't know. Kazurai is like, hey, I don't even work here no more, bro. Kaz- Kaz- give them the give, Kaz- give them the like, three. <laughs> give them the Vita two. Oh my god, yeah. wouldn't that shut up everyone? Here's Vita. Oh my god, here's Vita it two. Stop it. it. I'm Stop. buying forty five years of Spartacus. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Vita two, get the fuck out of here. PlayStation, tell me when to stop. You just add in years. <laughs> tell me what's the magic number that we need. Either to buy. that or like a, a, a Pursuit Force reboot or something crazy, <laughs> like something impossible. Look, we're we're talking nonsense. I do think PlayStation has, and it's Sony. Sony's a huge company. I think people sometimes do forget. Like, let's think of Sony. As, I mean, that's a huge. Uh, of course, they're not, it's it's hard to picture Sony next to Microsoft, but Sony's still mm. a fucking huge company. They have a lot of money, a lot of capital, a lot of IP, etc. PlayStation makes more profit than Xbox still right now, still. including this merger. Still. Mm. Emmett, thank mm-hmm. you so much for bringing that up. Still, yep. this this acquisition makes Microsoft the. Th- Third highest in revenue. Third. Who is that behind? Yep. Tencent and mm-hmm. PlayStation. Like those, like that's the two people they're behind. So even with this purchase, they're still behind. That is an important thing to bring up. They're not, I don't think they're quite shaking in their boots quite yet. Just because even with them flying fucking B 55s or whatever are full of PlayStations so they can sell them in the US. I think they're I think they're okay. Like they're they're mm-hmm. fine. They're fine. They're not sweating yet. They, I think they will in a couple in about mm-hmm. years. Like I said, that dominoes the, the dominoes are getting closer. Wh- who who knows when that starts falling too? Maybe it starts with Hellblade, and then the next quarter they have Gear Six, and then you know I'm just Ooh. I'm speaking nonsense, but yeah, I mean Tingling. really, let's think about that. Like like a quarter. I mean Jesus, like they yeah. can just keep going, and then here's WoW Shoot. expansion. Here's three quarters from now, Death Loop Game Pass. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're not. It's been a year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever that deal was, which, like Emmett said, probably a year. It's on Game Pass, everyone. It's on Xbox now. Ghostwire Tokyo, same deal. In a year, it'll come Game Pass. Mm-hmm. If it comes out, good God. <laughs> yeah, if that game right? ever comes out, Tango Game Works. What are you doing? What are you yeah, doing? Right you left Evil them. Within. You're making this weird game. There's one other thing I wanted to touch on, but I can't quite remember, so we might. Call oh, of Duty related? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was Call of Duty related. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we talked about it stopping Warzone. Are we yes. all in agreement that stays with PlayStation? Yeah, I think they pull Minecraft and go like it stays. Yeah, no, yeah, that stays. Yeah, for sure. Okay, mm-hmm. just, just making sure. It's like it's like what you said with Overwatch. I mean, it's multiplayer, so the, I feel like it has to stay. Is Diablo the new Diablo exclusive? I think the new, they announced. The new- Diablo 4 for PS4 or 5 already. If they have, it's going to be on PlayStation. If they didn't announce platforms yet, I could see that being their Starfield. Make it exclusive. Let's I can see. see it. PC and Xbox only. Yeah, I can really see that. Because it's already a niche franchise. Yeah. I yeah, no, it says currently we know that they expect it for PC, PS4, and Xbox One release dates for Diablo 4. Mm, okay, PS4 release dates, yeah. In that case, yeah, yeah they, it's probably going to be on PS4, but... The first glimpse we got of Diablo 4 came back in 2019. Mm. Yeah, but it said PS4 and Xbox One, so they haven't said anything about the newer... Uh, it could be a, a Psychonauts 2 situation, where yeah. they put it on PS4, but there's no PS5 version. Yeah, so. mm-hmm. that's true. There isn't like an upgraded mm. version. They just, they're just releasing it for PS4. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Yeah, and then the Xbox happen. One is like, hey, Series X is version yep. right here. On Game Pass. Mm-hmm. Yep. Why spend 60 when you can pay 10? Yep, for sure. Oh, gentlemen. Unless you have final <laughs> thoughts, I think that's about... We covered a, a good bit of the gambit here. As long as uh, we're in agreement, um, this sucks, but it's happening, so we might as well talk it's about it. It's fucking scary. Yeah. <laughs> Embrace the void. There's a lot of <laughs> shit going on with this stuff. Uh, and I will say, I think this is the beginning. And th- Again, this is the beginning of the year. We- this, I think this is going to be an unprecedented year of even more acquisitions. Last year, we saw an incredible amount. Um, I think this year might be even crazier. I think this Does is going to be... Does anybody feel broke? Dude. I, I'm not even feeling broke yet. I'm just thinking of like when Wario 64 does the recap of the press conference they do Dude. once the deal's done and he won't be able to fit all the Game Pass games into one tweet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's going to be like, give me a second. Give me a You're second. Like, right. Give me a second. Compress. 
<laughs> Call of Duty <laughs> 1 through 24. <laughs> then <laughs> Here's all 20 something Call of Duties. Yeah, that the that three is Soldier of Fortune games that made it off of PC. <laughs> god yeah no that that's also another point like they get all these past games and just the value is going to be insane and for sure it's going to be nuts well let us know what you think about this comments below remember to tweet at us any questions for the show uh, uh emmett is of course ej sponge 61 on twitter you've seen it on yep. the video but in case you're on podcast servers gentlemen that's all i have for you that was kind of our snap reaction to all of this um i'm gonna try and meditate for the rest of the week maybe really think steep on this alex like the tea you drink i'll steep in it see what <laughs> i think about it in a couple of weeks i am pretty negative on it but who knows maybe i'll yeah. turn capitalist in a couple i mean hey i'll be i'll be real with you i was very negative initially too but then i started thinking of possibilities and there is a light side to this darkness prototype three <laughs> so. here we go Look at oh, hey, here we go. Hey, it's, get the boys. crackdown, devs. <laughs> <laughs> second, Actually, try, second, try, second try, second try, second try. Let's not think about the other ones. Yeah, <laughs> it's like uh, Phil Spencer's like, Hey, I want Xbox in every household. I don't want, I don't care how it's gonna happen. It could be on a PlayStation, it could be on a Switch. Any, I want it happening. And that's what's scary. ATC Aria. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, mean, and, and what, I mean, is that a bad thing? I mean, oh no, it's a great thing. Get your money, man. Dollar dollar hey. bills. Terrifying. Yeah, very terrifying. Yeah. Anyways, thank you so much, Emmett. Thank you so much for joining us, especially at last minute. I, I only asked you about five, six hours ago, so I really oh. appreciate you uh, jumping in. Um, <laughs> That's the last minute. Where? Oh yeah, you know we're doing game of the year stuff this whole month over on uh, Players Club podcast. So mm -hmm. I was happy to have a place to talk about this. <laughs> yes, yes, I was. Yeah. I was shocked. I was like, oh, get the fuck a good in. Good hour buddy. and a half. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I mean, and I could go longer too, but I, I, I don't want to keep you guys uh, for too much longer. So, Emmett, where can they find you? Uh, yeah, like you said earlier, you can find me, EJ Sponge 61 on Twitter. Uh, go to VGU.TV uh, right now because we're doing a bunch of Game of the Year stuff. Uh, we're doing our we're recording our deliberations live so you guys can listen to us come to a consensus on our Game of the Year winners. And we'll be releasing the final list of all that stuff once deliberations are over at the end of the month. Uh, the episode I'm about to finish editing right after I leave here is our episode where we go over do i still have the tab open somewhere let's see if i can make this happen you got it uh, you get this uh to, ah. to cut you some time i uh was actually started to listen to it because i actually i don't listen to jive bomb so i didn't know what you meant by deliberation so i was like are they, are they just talking about it and so i listening to it, i was like oh this is kind of fun you you are kind of live building this list with you and it's really it's really fun you get to hear wild shit like justifying titanfall 2 over bayonetta <laughs> The fuck is wrong with you people? Oh, I'm mad that they had to I was like, fight me on that. I one. was like, really? <laughs> Titanfall two in the last year? Like all the shit they went through? They hacked the servers. <laughs> That's true. I never brought that up. Enough. Yeah, but I was like... screaming at my fucking head, like headphones, <laughs> like, bro, like it, it went down for like weeks. <laughs> Out of everyone, I should have known that. But um, <laughs> I was like, please put Bayonetta yeah. there. Fuck. But yeah, part one and two are already out. Uh, part three that I'm about to edit right now, we go over uh, best performance, strongest vibe, zeitgeist of the year, best nonviolent game, and best original score slash soundtrack in which I figured out how to put music into the uh, podcast live. So Whoa. that's going to be easy to edit. Okay, oh. can, you give, can you give us like a little, just a little taste? Like what was what Like if you can, um, if you can hand hmm. at one thing, what is it? I'll, I'll, I'll hint at this. I'll hint at this. People sleep on how good knockout city's music is mm, i'll shit. say people really now, sleep on how good really? that is okay. i'm gonna grind your gears a little bit Try Elijah, did you did you play knockout city hmm. no i did not oh <laughs> did you claim it on playstation plus well it's on xbox game pass so just play it there. It's i have really both say, free free in quotes versions so I, have, I mean, I got no, it on Twitch Prime too, my guy. <laughs> I did too, I think. I think I did <laughs> yeah. too. I think I did yeah. too. I, I yeah, literally no. have them both on both systems. I haven't touched it. Mm -hmm. I haven't touched no, it. No, yeah, I played it for like the first week and then I enjoyed it, but I never went back to it. I, I'm, you know I'm, what? Most people did that. I'm trying to get through <laughs> yeah. Psychonauts 2. Enjoying it a lot too. I think I'm about to beat it. Um, I respect that. Psychonauts 2 nearly won uh, third place in original score, but it got knocked out. Okay. Mm. Sad to say. But I like Psychonauts 2. Do you have music a level a design category? 
Uh, not a level design one. Okay. We didn't get that granular, but hey, the that original one, score is a new addition, so maybe we'll add I feel like that. Like, definitely wins like in in level design because th- I like music. Is, music always always helps with these games. Mm-hmm. Hell's mm-hmm. yeah, hell's yeah. Also, nonviolent and zeitgeist of the year. Very surprising conversation. So listen to those, Zeitgeist. and also listen to part one and two. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious on what that even pertains to, too. So I'm definitely listening to that one. Yeah. Um, Alex, we know where the yeah. fuck to find you. So shut up. Um, <laughs> wow. <yeah. laughs> Great googly moogly. <laughs> Remember, you can tweet at either of us at EVM at Thousand at Craven Subscutter we'll with your questions, comments, or if you just want to threaten again. us. Remember, on Twitter, that's where you do it. You just do whatever you want there. You can DM us on Patreon, any tier. You can DM us a question for the show. Go over there and look at uh, the multiple tiers. Of course, patreon.com slash Achievers. If you're listening to us on YouTube, remember, comment, like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you can. That helps us all algorithmically. That helps people find our videos and such and such. If you're on a podcast service, of course, five-star review us. Leave whatever the equivalent of that is on there subscribe to the channel etc etc aside from that gentlemen thank you so much for joining me we're going to go play some more video games but until then go chief go chief